Liberty Elementary in Harrisburg is starting off the new year fresh with a month-long kindness campaign. Sounds pretty yeah. simple, being intentional about how students treat one another can make a big difference, though, in the classroom. Kettle Band's Matt Holson shows you the focus on being friendly. Sticks and stones will break my bones. You've likely heard the phrase, sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. These third graders don't agree with the statement. We were saying it wasn't true because words can hurt you for a really long time. Someone talks to you using sugar, it's sweet and it's nice and it feels good. You kind of want to have more of it, right? Bryn Pickett prefers being sweet like sugar as opposed to sour like vinegar. Put it right on your tongue. <laughs> she doesn't like it. Luckily, she says she's been surrounded by great people so far in life. Um, has anybody said mean things to you before? Nope. No? That's... Actually, not yet. <laughs> you never know. Hopefully, that streak continues. Pickett School is spending time each day talking about how to properly treat others. So the really cool thing is our teachers are just having intentional conversations with kids, just talking about how and where can we practice kindness and looking for opportunities to do it, because oftentimes it's more opportunistic moments as opposed to something you can plan on. Liberty principal Aaron Weaver says January in the middle of winter is a good time to plant the seed of kindness. One of the biggest things that we're noticing is that I think as a staff and also as kids when we spend more time looking for the good uh, we tend to dwell there a little bit easier and when we tend to be more inward focused it's easy to kind of not always think of that and always look for those things. While she doesn't think it's a big deal, Pickett tries to stack chairs and sharpen pencils for others every day. Little changes will, will go a long way. A long way towards creating a better school environment. In Harrisburg, Matt Holson, Kelloland News.